Ironhide, welcome to a brand new series on my channel. This is Zed Incorporated. This is going to be a brand new series where we are going to create our very own factory and become the owner of that factory, starting from the ground up. Now, we're going to actually do this to not only end Inner Dragon, but do way more. Um, I might start adding some stuff along the way, but we'll see what happens. But besides that, let's get right into the grittiness of this. Now, I want to make sure I let you guys know on what's going on um, particularly. First of all, I want to make it clear that um, Keep Inventory is on. Why? Because I've started to notice that every time I get into certain games, every single time that I've literally played, um, I started to notice that every time I get into like mob fights or anything during the night, I tend to freeze and um, that would most likely get me to die half the time. So I have to literally um, keep inventory on so that way I don't lose my shit over fucking lagginess. And sometimes you would never know when it happens. It tends to fucking happen way too often than you think it does. So for the first part of when we get into this series, at least, is uh, we're going to start by literally um, gathering some materials. And uh, we're going to get into the crafting table and show what the basic mechanics, um, or at least, or basic machinery um, is going to be entailing for us. I want to make sure you guys are well aware of these things. So that way, um, nothing will be confusing as future goes by. And as you can tell... Here's the stuff right here, modules, everything like that, all sorts of good stuff, huh? Um, it's going to be pretty reasonable to say the least. We're going to be starting off with a pretty, pretty low side of things. Um, we're not going to be going too far into it, though. Um, we got a lot to do, but we're going to go straight into grabbing some wood and grabbing some materials for this adventure now i'm going to make sure that we um intend to get the camp while we're at it because uh we're going to be pretty much stuck here the entire time and i want to make sure we have enough to comprehend this but first let's get into this map see where we are uh, not bad now um as you can possibly tell we have two guides on us one is for the basic machinery um it shows us the pages um of the materials like generators coal generators lava generators liquid pumps um pretty much tanks quantum miner and the powered fisher then you have the solar panel and advanced solar panel we might actually find that stuff a little later conveyor belts and uh block breakers as well and block placers um we got a battery crusher pretty much everything across the fucking board we even got our hands on some of the material um we need to create a wrench uh we need to start getting a wrench so we need to start and finding out material for that then we have the security systems add-on guide which will holy shit <laughs> which will do this if you could get my drift it'll show us a lot of the stuff that we need same goes for the interactions um shout out to the people that made this stuff we got thermal armor and then we also have security monitors taser gauntlets so we pretty much did a decent amount here i will admit this is sick so uh let's grab the book we're gonna need it um it's a pretty big book though have you just looked at that look at this shit look at this shit god damn look at this this is a big motherfucking book. Holy hell. So we got the lock tool and everything else. We're going to focus on that once we get everything sorted, but we'll have to wait until we have every part of the material first before we continue. So we're going to get into that, but we're going to have to wait until then. So let's start off with the first thing, because I want to make sure we have everything in place before we start. And here comes a zombie. Let's uh, start by getting some cobblestone. This will be a better option to actually start off with because I have the cobble so we can start getting that. And by the time we literally hit the cobblestone, we get hands on some coal. And we actually need that for a fireplace. 
And it's a good thing we actually set that up, because otherwise I would have been in damsel in distress if that would have been the case, because we would have been searching all through the fucking night, and I didn't want to get killed by anything at that point. So, um, we are going to start by getting the sheep, because we are going to need some wool. The first thing we need is to get a bed. So, let's do that. We need one more sheep. And it better not be like last time, where I have to go and find a whole fucking sheep the entire time. And speaking of which, still need food. Come here. There we go. And once we literally start getting everything sorted, we should be fine. Now, there is a village over there where we actually look at that. Hmm? We're getting lucky this time. Hmm? Hmm? Pretty lucky stuff, if you ask me. So, that is good for us. And, uh, pretty sure I had wood earlier. Did I already waste it? Yes, I did. How the fuck did that happen? No clue. That's fine by me, because we can just grab the wood from here. And we can grab some stuff. Do you guys see what I mean? I did. I wanted to finish my sentence, but if you guys can tell, that was what I was talking about earlier. How it starts lagging the second... We get straight into things, so <laughs> just be prepared for that, because that's going to be the one thing that's going to be annoying for the next hour, or maybe the next few minutes of this session, recording session I'm going to be doing. But yeah! Nevertheless, I'm going to keep grabbing wood until we keep going. Now, most of these materials are going to be the pinnacle of me, because... The second we start getting more material, the more we have enough time to, like, get everything set. So, we have a lot to comprehend here. From the coal that we saw down there to the amount of fucking material we have to grab over there, it's just going to be a ton, a ton of stuff. So, we're going to go straight into it. And uh, once we do, um, we're going to just go straight into the boundaries of everything right now we got into the diving stuff we got the gumbling button which is actually pretty interesting if you look at the crafting of it which is actually kind of surprising if you get my drift on that one look at this shit graphite that's gonna be fucking annoying to grab i can tell you that but yeah if you look at it we have a lot of stuff to fucking grab including uh, some cables now we need those cables for a little later But we also need to get a wrench Which is going to cost us a measly amount Which we're going to actually have to grab on soon because uh since we're heading straight to the village I wouldn't see a problem literally doing that now before we do that though. However we're gonna make ourselves a bed and Make sure that we had to sleep before anything else now i will say we're gonna need a furnace because uh not gonna hold you we are kind of on the lowdown on food which is fine um, i want to make sure we have enough wood and enough food to cover us um having at least a good journey all the way up to that village up there so i gotta say though we are um well personally for me i'm excited to get into this because I don't know what is going to happen in this particular situation and what's going to happen for the next content going forward. Because, again, since we're getting so far into, like, technology and all that stuff, it's going to be one hell of a fucking journey that we're going to make for this. Like, seriously, it's going to be one hell of a journey. And I'm very, very happy to get right into that, because, <laughs> as you guys already know me, I'm a fucking science geek. So, getting into this shit is going to be my fucking passion. Now, I am pretty sure, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure we just passed the, uh, the place that we just came by earlier and in case you didn't know what i'm talking about we literally found a little crevice that had oh right here it was like right above it ha Got to be that. but yeah it was like right here and it should have the coal that we actually were supposed to grab earlier the thing i came back to grab it we need 
not only grab that, but grab more cobble and uh, be on our way. Because we need to grab more cobblestone and then head ourselves straight back into that direction, into the village. Now, the key for this is to directly build a factory nearby the f um, village. Why? Because we need the actual extra material if we're going to be doing this. Now, since we're already going to be making a lot of trades for emeralds, chances are we're going to have a machinery that will allow us to particularly get involved with a little bit of changes. Now, we're going to be pretty prepped for this. Um, we're going to be heading our way straight to it, so it's not going to take us too long to get there. But however this may be, we still need to make sure we grab um, some material along the way. Um, some things that are a little bit more valuable instead of this other one, but yeah. So now that we're getting straight into that though, let's head straight here. Grab more wood along the way. Now again, I'm not entirely sure if we might run into the one and only pillager camp while we're heading to this village but i highly doubt we're going to because uh in hindsight it's going to be one hell of a ride in the journey from where the pillager camp is and if the pillager camp is that close then we might have to actually act fast Start having everything ready and having the camps already set. Don't see anything so far. But yeah, it looks pretty uh looks pretty nice over here. Not bad. I will admit though, we have found a pretty spacious place for this. And there goes the farmers. Huh. I already have my own bed. I just want to make sure we search up for any material that may uh, occur in here. Sometimes they have material in here and it might be interesting, so wouldn't hurt to check. Now, the goal of the premise here is to make sure we still have enough to find. Aha! The village below. Because I was just saying, we might have to check if there's anything below this place. Because they might have some. Let's check the trades first. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. So, they got some interesting stuff around here. A lot of houses. There's some coal there. We might actually grab that in a minute. And, by the looks of it, a full straight fence with a door. That's it. Whoops. I accidentally separated that one while I was doing this. Where's the door? Oh, the door's here. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> that was an accident. I didn't realize there was a door there. <laughs> okay. So, now that we actually have, like, surface place, I want to actually see what other trades they may give. And if they have any decent trades, we might actually have a chance here. Which is good, because otherwise we're just in a pretty decent spot. And we're going to be getting our start on the factory a little bit faster than I anticipated. Or at least for the better. Because the best hope I've gotten up until this point is trying to at least maintain the stuff that we have. Um, I'm trying to check where the sun is. Because uh, right now... I was about to say, if that was, it would be kind of screwed here. I'm trying to, okay, it's the middle of the day. I had to be sure, because uh, <laughs> you never really know. These things do tend to, like, happen so fucking quick, you won't even notice. Um, I need to find a particular place to set up a farm. And the reason I need... Well, not the farm. 
um set up the stuff is because we need some actual like material to help us here and it's gonna be so painful to find it the reason i say painful is because again we're literally going into a village that's not only not really pretty spacious with things but we're pretty much putting ourselves into imminent danger of things and it's pretty pretty rough to say the least because if we don't find material quickly we're in a we're in a world of hurt i'll tell you that and it's gonna be not pretty so let's just try and make sure we maintain stuff and materials that we might find we should be good our best bet however is to make sure we also find some stuff uh nearby that's gonna be one hell of a nightmare too because if we're gonna be doing all this shit imagine we're gonna have to still find the stuff that we still comprehend and eh, you never really know you never really know that's exactly why i said that too um so, so far, not a single thing in these goddamn village houses, except for yellow beds. Brewing stand. Might take that soon. Because we might actually need that just in case. I might head down and see if there's anything up in that last one. Oh, it's almost nighttime. I gotta hurry up. And since we're already, like, heading straight into the, uh, Eye of everything. Uh, okay. For that, for emerald, not bad at all. Uh, rotten flesh. That's something I can do. And rotten flesh. Okay, so as long as these guys stay alive, I think we'll be fine. But we gotta find a lot of uh rotten flesh if we're gonna do this. And there's a cave. Surprise, surprise. We got something. But uh, we better hurry up, though. Um, I wanted to come down here specifically because we need to make um, some changes right now. And we need to make our way to the other village. We have to make sure that is maintained as well. We found a cave. A cave full of skeletal. Skeletal is in there. Second. Hiya, bitch boy. Cobblestone. Which means one thing. We're near a We might be near a dungeon. I just don't know what specific one we might be near because one thing for sure is that I I can't fucking specify with the fact that I can't hear anything. So it'll be tough for me to tell where the hell it is. Oh shit, hold on. I gotta save his ass, bitch. I hear one above. Okay. Oh, chest. Red! I'm gonna need that for food for now. Now that we're getting into that, make sure everybody's safe. Um. I don't know why y'all wondering off. And we got two of them. Nice. Okay, cool. Let me go and head to bed. Damn it. Come on, man. Bastard. Okay. Are you struggling with sleeping? Are you struggling with dehydration? Are you struggling with having energy in the morning, day, and night when it comes to gaming? I got a solution for y'all. Head on over to Poggers. This is going to be one of the few drinks that they actually released, and it's actually really, 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 really cool. Um, they even released their new flavor last month, which is Rocket Pop. Make sure to go ahead and check them out. Link in the description down below. Use creator code ZM for 10% off your order. Enjoy the video, everybody bed first okay so now that we have everything settled in this village let's start getting into the whole farming part now this is where things get real interesting since we're already like doing a lot of stuff our advances are getting a little interesting so of course taking the brewing stand right now is probably the best option we got 
So I'll take that. We'll take that. Because we're not going to be able to be heading to the nether in the next hour. And we need, need the material at the very moment. And starting off with it is probably the best option. And literally just waiting. Now, our best bet right now is to head back up there. Zombie flesh is your... Zombie flesh is your nature. You see what I mean when I say, like, that's what's happening right there? Like, I keep getting, like, lag spikes the second I get in there. It's like, I know the reason why is because, like, the chunks are just loading. But that's still a fucking problem, considering the fact that even if you have, like, it on, like, 8 to 10 chunks, it still, like, literally freezes your player in, like, a whole time free screen. And you can't even move. And then when you can't move and there's mobs around... That's when you literally die. Like, it's just it's stupid. It's stupid. But, like, I swear to God, they need to, like, not... They should have never literally put that, like, implemented in. I don't know what they did to this game. But they immediately, like, screwed up, like, the framing of this. And then they all of a sudden just let the entire chunk base freeze up the screen as if it's, like, doing any, like, precaution. Like, it's so stupid. It's such a stupid thing for them to do, but it works because one thing for sure, it still helps in its long run. I'm only going to take the apples from picking the emeralds. I'll make the emeralds on my own. Now that I'm back up onto the surface, let us start camp because we're going to need to start doing that right now. Um... Start camp nearby, and we're going to have to start grabbing more wood as we progress. We'll do. I'm going to do that as we um, get on off camera, because one thing for sure is that I want to make sure we have everything set. It's almost sunset. We did pretty. We did a pretty decent job here. I'm building the camp. So, like I said, it didn't take too long for us to do it. Uh, the goal here, though, is to make sure we have everything in our disposal. So, we have to be very, very careful. Especially considering how everything is going right now. Okay, so now that we got everything sorted, um, we should be able to have enough stuff ready for the next episode. So, uh, let me remove this. And there we go. Now we got that finished. Um, I'm going to end it here. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. It has been Zed. I will see you guys next time. Later. Oh, what you think?